all here because you want a better climate and you want justice. Of course, this is not just a money question, but money makes the world go round. And we need money for a better world, for climate justice, education, women, and so on. Our governments offer us security, and if there is more insecurity in the world, then they produce and they sell more weapons. This is not our security, and it's not the security of humanity. This is questioning, it's all about changing also our economic system. And we women know where the money is, which we need for a change. Look here, 1.6 trillion we spend for military expenses every year. Here is the money, and together with you all, we will make a change and we will bring this tank down. We Woo! tell you how we will do this a little bit later. When I say welfare, warfare, welfare, warfare, welfare, when they say warfare, you say welfare, warfare, welfare, warfare, welfare, welfare. We're going to have our next speaker from the Global South, Tetet Lorian from the Philippines. Thank you for coming to this action. My name is Tetet Lorian. I come from the Philippines, a country that has enjoyed special relations with the United States of America. I just came from plenary and all the member states were celebrating about the early entry, forward, in, early entry into force of the Paris Climate Agreement. But then I think we are making one big omission amidst all the celebration. What is being omitted is, uh, in the Paris Agreement? Military emissions are being omitted in the Paris Agreement. Can you, can you say that again? Omissions from military emissions are not included in the Paris Agreement. And did you know that military emissions account for the largest uh, contribution to greenhouse gases in this planet? So how can we talk about sustainable development? How can we talk about meaningful climate action when there are wars and conflicts all over? And why are wars and conflicts happening all over the world? It's because corporations in collusion with some of our governments are working hand in hand to extract natural resources that feed into corporations' profit. These resources are being extracted and displaces our people and our communities. Resource extraction from mining corporations, from fossil fuel corporations, they are killing our people and killing our planet. So what are we saying here in Morocco? No emissions from military emissions. No emissions from military emissions. Jobs and education. Money for jobs and education. Not for wars and corporations. Not for wars and corporations. Money for jobs and education. Money for jobs and education. Not for war and corporations. Not for war and corporations. Money for women and environment. Money for women and environment. Not for soldiers and torment. you to rip apart this tank that is made up of different money signs it's like Heidi is showing you and redistribute it into social services that are equally needed or more needed than military spending such as climate justice education women's rights health and social justice yeah. and at the end the tank will not exist anymore Thank you. I'm coming from the Women's International League for Peace and Freedom and my part of the tank is going to peace negotiations and women's participation in peace negotiations. Just go on and take your part of the...
We pass on our messages for education and climate justice. The action we will is, is to send out our message for, to involve all stakeholders in supporting climate justice, in supporting the indigenous women, in supporting women in general, not only, not only on climate change actions but on all environmental aspects. So as you can see, the platform of Rosevac is highly represented here for the action and the Cameroon Climate Change Working Group. Maimuna Omaro, Rosevac Cameroon, the representative also of the indigenous people from Cameroon, Repaliak. I'm Sabrina Chakori from Switzerland. We are here at the COP22 and uh, uh, this action has been organized by women because we think that to solve the social and environmental crisis, the first thing is to redesign the economic system and uh, here specifically we ask for redistribution. The government have uh, uh, monies and monies sometimes are spent for too much for army and other things instead of uh, health education women protection, environment protection, you know, gender equality in general. Well, uh, the idea is that we have funds, we, we have solution, is the political will that uh, must be implemented and showing our voices, showing that we are not afraid to ask our government to redistribute the money, uh, hopefully we will influence uh, 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 politics. Actually, we are the society, so what we ask for should be uh, done.